Hello everyone, today I will show the solutions to problems 5 and 6 of round 190 of the Prairie Math League. For problem 5, we have two positive integers, x and y, such that x, uh, 45x plus y equals 2021, 20, and we wish to minimize x plus y. Now notice that the more the, uh, because of this linear e expression here, the, more that, the higher we make x, the lower y becomes. Furthermore, since an increase in w one increase in y decreases, sorry, since one increase in x decreases y by forty five, we base therefore want to make x as large as possible so that y can be like really small. Um, so in this case, um, uh, we wish to maximize x here. So to find an estimate for x, we first start out by evaluating twenty twenty one over forty five. And this is somewhere around 44.9. So from here, we know that x is somewhere around 44 or 45. Uh, notice that 45 times 45 is equal to 2025, which is already too big. Therefore, x has to be at most 44. And since we wish to maximize it, x is indeed 44. Now it remains to find y. Uh, y becomes 2021 minus 45x. Uh, since x is 44, this becomes 2021 uh, minus... 45 times 44, which is equal to 41. And finally, we can add these two. x plus, uh, x plus y is uh, 85, which is option choice C. For problem number 6, uh, we wish to find the number of ways to color each of the integers 2 to 9 in either blue, red, or green, so that each number has a different color from each of its proper divisors. Now, by proper divisor, we're talking about any divisor which is positive, or, or any divisor of some number which is positive and um, uh, not equal to itself. So, for instance, the po proper divisors of 6 are 1, 2, and 3. Notice that we exclude 6. So, to find the proper divisor of each number, uh, you can find it manually, of course, but one way to find this is by listing out, first listing out the prime factorization of all uh, eight numbers we're interested in, and then um, using the prime factorization to find the divisors. So here, we can either include or not include two, which gets us one and two. Same, same for all the primes here. Uh, for something like four, we can, like, we can just vary the number of twos that we have, and so on. So basically, by finding the prime factors, we can just find all the divisors. Now, of course, since they're proper, we uh, get rid of um, some of the we get we get rid of the divisors which are equal to the original number, and this gets us that the proper divisors of two are one, three, also one, four, one and two, and so on. And notice that one doesn't appear in this problem, so we also ignore all the ones here. Uh, so now we have a bunch of uh, numbers and their proper divisors. So what do we do next? Well, we, we start listing things out. So look, he, this is 2. Uh, 2 doesn't have any proper divisors, so we just leave it as is. Same with 3. However, when we get to 4, uh, we notice that 4 is kind of, in a way, connected to 2. Because 2 is actually it's the only uh, qualifying proper divisor in this list. So we draw something like this. Uh, basically, these two cannot have the same color. Four, 2 and 4 cannot have the same color. Uh, so that's why they're, in a way, connected. 5 is also isolated. 6 is connected to both 2 and 3, so we draw it like here. Uh, 7 is also isolated. Now, 8 is interesting because it's connected to both of these two, which are connected earlier. It's connected to both 2 and 8. And 9 is f just connected to 3. So we draw something like this. And uh, now we have basically a graph where any any... Uh, number in this graph cannot be uh, the same color as one of its neighbors. So to count this, we first start by, uh, we just go in increasing order and see what happens. So we first pick a color for two. This this can happen in three ways. Um, then we can pick a color of, uh, okay, this is, this, is not, this is not a good thing to do. Uh, actually, let's start from two and branch out from here. So then we pick a color of six. And uh, since it can't be the same as the color of two, there's only two ways. Uh, because one of them matches the color of 2. Uh, so there's two ways here. And then from here, going from 6 to 3, we again see that there are only two ways. And again, here, there are only two ways, because each of these cannot be the same color as the previous one. So 
Now we move on to 4, which in the bisimilar argument has two ways. But once we get to H, uh, there are two other colors. There are three colors in t total, actually. But both of their, its neighbors has, been, has already taken one of the colors. So this only leaves one remaining color to choose. And then finally, 5 and 7 are by themselves. So each of these only have three ways. And for our answer, we just multiply all of them together. So this was 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 1 times 3 and then finally times 3, which is equal to 432, which is option choice E. And we're done. Thank you for watching.